Okay, in this video we're going to look at subtracting decimals. Before watching this one, make sure you've watched the video on adding decimals, and that shows you the importance of how you lay out the question and the column method, and where to put the decimal points. Okay, let's have a look at 8.2 subtract 4.5. So again, line them up, make sure that the first number goes on the top, and the one you're subtracting goes beneath it. And line them up using the column method. 2 take away 5, you can't do, so you're going to need to borrow one from the 8 and make that a 7. Take the 1 and put it there to make it now 12. 12 subtract 5 would be 7. I've just put the decimal point there. And 7 subtract 4 is 3. So the answer would be 3.7. Okay, our next example is 4.23 subtract 1.9. Now whenever you're lining these up using the column method, again make sure you're lining up the decimal points. And then particularly with subtraction, I find that it's, a quite, it's quite useful to make sure that the numbers are the same length whenever you subtract them. You'll see what I mean in a second. So 4.23 subtract 1.9. As you notice, the number you're subtracting is it's shorter length. It's only got one decimal pl uh, place, whereas this one's two decimal places. So what I would do is I would just put a zero there to make the numbers the same length. It's actually quite important whenever the top one's shorter than the bottom one to do that. Okay, so... 3 subtract 0 is 3, 2 subtract 9 you can't do, so you need to borrow 1 from the 4, make it a 3, and make that a 12. 12 subtract 9 is going to be 3, and 3 subtract 1 is 2, so that should be 2.33. Okay, this time we're going to do 9.2 subtract 4.15. So again, line them up, so 9.2, 4.15. As you notice, the top number is a uh, shorter length than the bottom one, so let's put a zero there to make sure that they've got the same length. That'll help with the subtraction. So, zero take away five, you can't do, so you're going to need to borrow one from the two, make it a one, and put a one there. So we've got ten subtract five is five, one subtract one is zero, and nine subtract four is five. So our answer would be 5.05. Okay, this time we're going to do 12 subtract 1.52. So again, line them up to so 12 and 1.52. Make your 12 the same length, so make it 12.00. That will help with subtraction. Okay, two t uh, 0 take away 2 you can't do, and you can't borrow from here. So what we're going to need to do is borrow from the 2, and make it a 1, and bring the 1 to there. Now that's 10. Now we can borrow from the 10, make that a 9, and then make that a 10. So 10 subtract 2 is 8, 9 subtract 5 is 4, make sure we put the decimal point in the right place, 1 subtract 1 is 0, and then you've got your 1. So that would be 10.48.